a mini app tutorial in this app what we are going to be building is a application for a building manager uh, he has a bunch of tenants and he want to manage all the maintenance requests that tenants do so tenants should be able to log in and request a maintenance work and then he has his employees a maintenance supervisor should be able to log in and see all the work uh, requested by tenants and then he should be able to assign it to his team members and then team members can log in and then uh, see what is the work assigned to them for that particular day and then complete the work it's a pretty simple app now to achieve this uh, i have created the structure here we would be requiring three applications in podio the first one is a tenant app where we'll save the tenant information then the employee app where we'll save the employee information employee information has a field called role which could be a supervisor or a technician now then there is a maintenance request app maintenance request where all the requests will be uh, saved in procfo we'll be creating two apps the first one is where a tenant logs in and request his maintenance work now here he should be only be seeing his particular maintenance request not for every tenant and then there is an application for uh, employees employees it could be a supervisor who is logging in or it could be a technician so whoever logs in uh, sees a, a screen that is uh, dedicated to him if a supervisor logs in he will see a screen where all the maintenance requests are there if an employee logs in he will see only those maintenance requests that are assigned to him and then they can update status all right this is the basic outline let's get uh, building Now let us start building the Procfu apps. We'll build the first app. We'll call this app Tenant Emma. So in this particular application, tenants should be able to log in and then they should be able to uh, raise a maintenance request and see their maintenance request that they have already raised. So we'll have a authentication. We'll have a screen where the customers can raise a tenant's request so what we're going to create is create mr so the data source is going to be podio app the podio application that we have created for this particular purpose is maintenance request we will select that and we are going to be creating so he can create a title and description now we will also enable tenant but the tenant will not save his name instead we will automatically do it on the back end by using a procfu token called now this token will basically save the tenant information automatically for us and then we will create one more screen which will be a summary list meaning he should be able to see all the um, uh, maintenance requests that has he has created so sorry. 
the data source is again going to be the podio we will select the same application and then we will create all the items now this is a bit tricky now when you select all the items what happens is all the items of all the tenants will be shown here we do not want that if i am logging in i only want to see the maintenance requests that i have created so we will create a related item field and then we will select which application is it it's going to be maintenance request and the field is going to be tenant so this is how we are going to sort it now we will be able to we will be showing the title the status and the description field now let's save it the first thing we have to do is uh, create an authentication earlier when how does a uh, uh, tenant login we will select a username password and then again the source of username password is going to be the tenant applications where we have created so his unit number will be his username and his password is his password and then once he has logged in he should be able to go to the MR list where he'll see all the MRs he has done now <clears throat> let's assume that our uh, tenant is on this particular list how will he create a new request for that we should be able to add a link to the create MR page so we will go to the header of this particular page and then create a link Now we will link it to the create screen that we have created. Perfect. Now we have a create new request screen. When the user clicks that particular screen, he will be able to go to uh, the create screen. Now how does he log out? So in the footer, we will create a similar link. But this time it is going to be for him to log out of the screen perfect now once the user has created let's assume that he created a new maintenance request on submit he has to go back to the list of requests that he has done that's it we have completed creation of our tenant application let's go ahead and test it perfect we have got our login screen I'm a tenant uh, my name is my username is my unit number which is one so I'm going to be entering my password which we have set up as password perfect I'm able to log in now let me create a new request water leakage that is my maintenance problem I'm going to be writing the same thing here and then I'm going to be saving perfect <clears throat> I have saved the information and why is it not showing here let me go ahead and check it so if I go to my maintenance request I should be able to see the water leakage we have created the tenant is John <coughs> and then it should ideally be shown here but it is not showing let's see what is the problem we will go to the maintenance request page we will go to the content and then this is maintenance request related items which is correct it's tenants the related app is tenants not maintenance that was the issue and then let's save it let's go back refresh perfect I'm able to see my request now let's log out <clears throat> I'll log in as the second tenant now perfect when I logged in as the second and te second tenant I was not able to see the request of the first tenant that is because we have set up here as a related items if, if we had for instance created as all items I would be able to see the water leakage here we don't want that now let's create a new request from the second tenant and call it 
ball not working so he has got an electricity problem let's save it perfect everything is working fine in our first application now let's go ahead and create a second application where our employees can see this request and take action create the new app this is for employees to be able to log in see the maintenance request and take the action we'll go ahead and create a, create a new app and call this employee mr perfect now for the employee to be able to log in let's select the authentication method as username password and we will select the podio application that we have created the name will be name and the password is going to be password perfect the employees can log in now let's assume it is supervisor who is going to log in so when a supervisor logs in he should be able to see all the maintenance requests so let's create a data summary list and call it soup list in a soup list he is going to see all the available maintenance requests and he is going to see all the items and then let's create a table with all these fields perfect now once the supervisor has seen this list let's say he's seeing this bulb not working he wants to click it and assign it to an electrician so we have he requires an edit screen so let's go ahead and create a new detail screen from here then call it soup list edit what he is going to do is he is going to edit this he's going to edit this and assign the status and an employee so he will be only editing the status and employee so let's lock the rest of the screens he shouldn't be able to edit the other screens perfect now once he has edited and saved uh, it is supposed to go back to his soup list we have done that as well let's save it perfect we have to do the similar process for an employee let's duplicate the screen and call it checklist now he is a technician let's say he's a plumber or an electrician who is logging in now in this case he shouldn't be seeing all the items because he's an electrician he should be only seeing items that are assigned to him so let's select related items and select employees and the field is employee perfect and he also doesn't need to see uh, the employee screen because he know he is the employee that's pretty much good now let's save it now similarly the employee also requires an edit screen because once the job is done he will be updating the status to job done so let's create edit and click all of these and lock all of these except the status screen perfect so once a job is done he can update the status that's very good once he has updated the status the screen will go back to the tick list let's save it and then earlier I did not think we have changed it here let's go here it shouldn't be soup list edit it should be checklist edit save perfect now we have created screens where a supervisor can log in see all his stuff a technician can log in and see only his stuff we have created their edit screen as well now question is how do we make them see different screens on login there are multiple ways to do it but let's do it a very simple approach I'll go to start and I'll go to the content at the moment we have nothing selected here so I'm gonna select one of these th things let me assume that everybody logging in is a technician and then save it so for the technician it is working fine he's gonna log in he's gonna go to the technician screen but what if it is a supervisor who is going to log in so we'll use a little bit of coding I'm gonna go to on auth success so here what I'm gonna write a piece of code that will basically check who has logged in if, if he is a supervisor 
it will ask you to go to the supervisor list page otherwise continue with whatever I have selected earlier Perfect. So all item values basically contains all the information about the logged in user and then from that values we are going to pick the role. If the role is supervisor we are telling go to this particular location. The default location is where it is currently and then we are asking you to go to this particular page. Let's save it and then test it. Anyway, let's try to log in as a technician. If I am a plumber I should not be seeing any information currently on the logged in screen. which is correct as you can see there is no information shown because there is no maintenance request that has been assigned to plumber so let me log out and now try login as a supervisor now ideally it, I should be redirected to the supervisor screen which is working fine and I see all the requests now what we can do is that let's go ahead and then assign this water leakage to the plumber I'm going to select water leakage and I'm going to assign it to plumber save which is correct it is correct now if i log in as a plumber i should be able to see the water leakage which is correct i am able to see it now if i click it i can mark it as complete and then save it perfect everything is working pretty fine now there is um, let's try to log in as a tenant and then see whether this is working fine so I'll go back to our apps and log in as the tenant and as you can see if I log out I think it's still logged in it was tenant number two who had the water leakage issue and no tenant number two had the bulb issue let's try to log in as tenant number one So water leakage is marked as completed so everything looks fine now the only small thing that I just noticed is this one let us assume that I am a plumber and then I can see my stuff but if I go here and then change it to soup list I am basically able to see everybody's job which is not correct so let's add a little bit of security so that soup list can only be accessed by people who are designated as supervisor so let's go to the super list page let's go to the before process and a small add a small piece of code which will do the job So what I'm going to do is that in the supervisor list I've put a condition if anybody who is not a supervisor anybody who is not a supervisor you should show the unauthorized access let me save it now let's go ahead and refresh it perfect now I am not able to see it this way everything is secure currently we have achieved everything that we set out to do our tenants are able to log a uh, maintenance request and see the status employees are able to go in and do the job and update the status everything through procfo without having to give them access to podio itself that's pretty much it for this video thank you